Hello, you guys. Happy Vlogmas. So most of you have no idea I'm going to be doing Vlogmas this year because I have not mentioned it. I actually already filmed Vlogmas Day 1 for you guys, but I have all of this footage that I was making a video for to post prior to Vlogmas and then I just didn't get a chance to post it because I had too many videos. So today for December 1st, your time, I'm going to post um, this video of all of the like different things of us prepping for our wedding. Um, and I'm just, I love this video. <laughs> so I really want to post it for you guys before Vlogmas. I could put it in the middle of Vlogmas or at the, like in January at some point, but I just feel like that's so far from now. And I want to share these stories with you now, <laughs> especially the one about the bra. <laughs> you guys will see it in a few minutes, but I just wanted to prep you guys that I am going to be doing Vlogmas and that this is just for December 1st to show you guys all of the stuff we did before our elopement. So hopefully you guys like it and I will see you tomorrow with more Christmassy content because this is definitely not Christmassy because it was like a month ago when Christmas did not exist in my brain. <laughs> all right, let's just jump on into it. <laughs> Good morning, you guys. Today is a very exciting video that I'm sure that you have already been able to tell by the title. It's going to be exciting, but boy do I have a story for you for this video so in this video I'm going to be I'm like literally just vlogging different things that are happening while we're planning our elopement and I just thought it would be really fun to all like have it all in one video for you guys so today's portion it has a lot actually because I ended up doing two different things today for the wedding one was trying out my makeup so let's start with that because the other story you guys are going to shit yourselves when you hear the other story because I uh, you guys, I just don't even know where to begin with that. I'll tell you in a second. But um, what I wanted to show you, oh, my makeup's over here, is my makeup. So I decided to do a test run on my makeup because I was having a bra consultation with the brand Mrs. Kisses. If you have not heard of these bras... I need to tell you, they're phenomenal. I thought they were awesome before, and now after, like, trying it on, I am in shock right now. Actually, you guys, I wonder if you've already seen my dress. If you've already seen my dress, I will share with you guys video footage of what my dress looks like before and after when I try these bras on. I don't know if you'll have already seen my dress when I post this, because I'm filming this way in advance before you'll ever see this, probably. But, you guys, I had my bra consultation. I'm trying not to, I, I can't talk to you guys about that yet. I will get there. But I had my bra consultation with this Mrs. Kisses brand. And so I was like, you know what? I might as well try my makeup out today. This is the first time I've ever done, like, tried my bridal makeup. And then I'll try my dress on after the consultation because I'll already have the bra on and I'll be able to try my dress on and see the whole look. So today I did this makeup and I, I'm definitely not like 100% sold on it yet. Um, I really, what I really am trying to go for is more of like a nude champagne color, but I did not have a nude champagne for my eye color, like for my eyelids, so I have to order a palette for that, but I do like the color. I think that I actually did a really amazing job, I feel, <laughs> on my makeup, because considering that I have never done cat eye before, or whatever this thing is, winged eyeliner, I've never done that in my life. Now, one of the eyes I know looks better than the other eye, but I think I did amazing. <laughs> I was honestly so impressed, but I want to teach you guys how because the reason I did so well is because I ordered this tool that somebody recommended on YouTube. I'll link her down below if I remember to. Um, she recommended this really neat tool that helps you do winged eyeliner, and it is a... She had a different version, but I ordered this one and it worked clearly just fine. It has like a stamp for the wing. So let's see. Yeah. So see, this is for the right eye. And then 
you pull this off here and it's literally got like a wing stamp. I don't know if you guys will be able to tell. Um, yeah, there we go. You can definitely tell that. It has like a wing stamp. So literally you just press it. It's like a stamp. It's amazing. She also had another recommendation trying to use floss to do a winged eyeliner. So I'm going to try that at later. But I don't even know if I need to try that to be honest because this worked. Like I feel like one of these eyes looks amazing. The other one needs work. But it's my first time ever doing winged eyeliner so i think i did great i really love my makeup it's my first time ever doing winged eyeliner it's my first time really like using foundation i used foundation today as well i really was trying to go all out for this so anyway 10 out of 10 recommend i actually pulled like this foundation that i had years ago out and i tried it and clearly it worked i don't know how good it is for my face but i do really like the look oh that's the other thing i got um this other thing for my eyebrows to fill in my eyebrows it's called whatever this is I don't know what it's called let's see tattoo sense of super durable I don't think that's what it's called eye method liquid eyebrow pen wait I think these might be from the same company yeah not surprising <laughs> because they're actually both from eye method I ordered them on Amazon Prime Day because they were on sale so apparently they both were on sale on Amazon Prime Day and that's how I ended up with both of them but this is what I use to fill in my eyebrows I mean not my favorite thing up close but not bad for you know what I need it for I'm really not worried about it because it's not like I'm having a full wedding where there's going to be a million people there looking at me it's just going to be Dominic and I and I know that I'm I know I'm going to look beautiful <laughs> because I really like I've been kind of nervous because I haven't been able to try my dress on with a bra because it's backless I mean I've tried it on with a bra and it looked okay but I have to admit this Mrs. Kisses bra ain't messing around. I am so impressed. So I will kind of describe it for you guys in a second. But I just want to tell you guys, like, this thing works wonders. My boobs <laughs> look so amazing. Like, they're not paying me to say any of this. They sent me these for free. They did do that, which I was shocked by. Because this is the first time I've ever reached out to a brand privately. Like, I've never actually been the one to reach out to a company they usually the companies reach out to me but I really wanted like I was seeing raving reviews about Mrs. Kisses so I really was gonna buy it myself but it was I think they were like $150 and I was fine with that I was going to pay that because I knew that it was going to be worth it <laughs> but I didn't have to because they said that they would send them to me so that was amazing they actually sent me two different like pads to see which one would work better I think I don't really know I didn't really get the gist of that I was a little nervous on my video call with the lady because <laughs> so many reasons you guys you're gonna be shocked when you hear this so they do like a bridal consultation with you and then after you order the bra they will do a consultation to show you how to build the bra basically because the way that it came was it just came with the pads um these are obviously way smaller than what I need <laughs> But they ca it came with the pads and then it came with this thing that goes on the inside of the pads. I don't really want to pull it out because I don't know if... Oh, wait. I can pull it out. Okay, cool. And then it came with this thing. And then they, they sent me extra pads, obviously, because I needed bigger ones. But this goes, like, literally slides right in there. Easy, easy. So easy to do. Um... I was, but I was nervous anyway. Nonetheless, I was nervous about the video call because I was just like, how are we going to do this? What is our plan here, lady? <laughs> because I didn't know how I was going to try this on without, you know, sh showing myself on a video call with a random lady. <laughs> And I was unsuccessful in not doing that, you guys. It was a crazy experience. So I get on the call with her. And originally, when I like logged into the computer, it said like it was a Zoom meeting, and it said no taking videos, no taking photos on this call. And so I was like, okay, like no big deal. I'm not going to do that anyway. However, I'm happy it did say that. Although I didn't end up setting the camera up, but I originally. <laughs> 
you guys, it's so crazy. Originally, I was planning on filming it because I, was, I wasn't going to film her, but I was going to put the camera off screen and film myself talking to her. I was going to do a time lapse for you guys. And I, because I also wanted to have the footage to know how to set my bra up if like I couldn't get a hold of her or something. Like what if I didn't know? I didn't know how complicated this was. It's not. Very, very simple. But I was needed it all on video footage is what I thought. But I did not set the camera up, thankfully, because it immediately said, don't video, don't film, don't take pictures. And I'm like, okay, that's weird. So I'm like, okay, I think I'm going to have to show my boobs. <laughs> on camera and but in my head I was like maybe I won't so we get on the call she's like walking me through everything we put the set the bra up and then she's like okay now we're going to try the bra on and suddenly she takes her shirt off she starts taking her shirt off she takes her bra off and she's sitting there <laughs> guys it was actually insane but she see, like she made me so comfortable because she seemed comfortable like she seemed gucci with the situation which obviously she would be because this is her job and this is what she does all the time but in my brain i i just couldn't compute what was going on like i was like wait a second do i am i now i take mine off right so crazy you guys and like you obviously don't have to it says you don't have to and like if I wasn't comfortable with it I obviously could have said to her hey like I'm not comfortable with you taking your bra off I'm not comfortable with me taking my bra off but honestly it was super chill <laughs> it wasn't like weird but it's just I'm I'm so happy that I wasn't video recording <laughs> Because, uh, and what also, I have my windows open. Like, I have my blinds wide open. So, basically, we're both, like, I take, I obviously, I had a dress on. So, I take my whole dress off. And we're both sitting here. <laughs> So crazy you guys it was wild it was a wild experience i never i never had it happen in my life but anyway <laughs> we've tried the bras on together and i was grateful that she did that because i can only imagine i would have been infinitely more uncomfortable if she had not done that because i would have just been sitting there without a shirt on in the front of a video camera with a random person so like it was more comfortable that we both didn't have our shirts on but i have to say it's not something I would want to do every day <laughs> because it was definitely like a weird experience, but she was extremely professional and like, I don't want to make it too crazy, <laughs> like say anything too crazy, but you can imagine how it felt. Like it was so weird, <laughs> but she helped me. She, I'm so happy she did have to try it on in front of her because she said that this part isn't wide enough. So she's going to order me another one. And that was the other thing I really appreciated about her <laughs> was I know personally that this part isn't wide enough because my body is wide. So my body's wider. So I might, I'm going to need a wider one, but the way she worded it was so like, nice and she what she didn't put it on my body at all like she didn't you know how sometimes you get nervous about those things that people are going to make mean comments about your body and like I even said to her well my body is naturally wider than your body obviously and then a, any a normal not I'm not gonna say a normal person but it's naturally wider than most people's bodies so it makes sense that I would need a wider one but I forget how she worded it the way she worded it was very very nice and yeah, it was a good experience overall. I just have to say, it was odd. <laughs> it was definitely weird. But I 10 out of 10 cannot recommend this bra company enough. I'm actually going to, I think I'll film like a full, eventually I'll probably film a full video on the bra company alone. This is just a like video about all my things and I've already talked for 12 minutes. <laughs> so about all of like the steps for the elopement. But I wanted to tell that because it was wild. <laughs> experience but at some point I'll like do a video to show how to set this up which I'm pretty sure you can google or youtube how to set it up too it was really really easy but I am grateful for her because now she's gonna order me the other one which if I had done it on my own I never would have even known I would have tried this on and said perfect looks great <laughs> and it does I will insert footage if uh, you see my dress already but anyway, guys, that's what's going on here today. I feel beautiful. I have not felt that beautiful in my dress. Like, I felt beautiful in my dress, but this bra changed everything. Like, it completely, it, it completely made the look so much better, in my opinion. So, 10 out of 10, cannot recommend this company enough. I definitely would pay the price that it costs. I might even pay double <laughs> because it makes my boobs look phenomenal. So, you guys will see. You'll see if you haven't seen already. Hello, you guys. So, 
hopefully you see my dress already because I'm trying my dress on for the last time and I am emotional. <laughs> I can see how this is like a moment for people <laughs> when they get married. Like, I don't know. I keep wanting to say that like this part doesn't matter, like wearing the dress and like the suit doesn't matter. <laughs> but I don't know. It definitely be mattering, you guys. This is a little tilted and I don't know how to fix that. But I look beautiful. <laughs> I'm trying to decide if I want to curl my hair or if I want to um, ha leave it like natural curls because you guys know I love my natural curls but I just saw myself like this and I said I think I'm just gonna have to curl my hair okay so this is what she looks like <laughs> I feel beautiful so I'm excited I'm getting pumped I and just trying to decide the last minute things, like how I'm gonna wear my hair, what earrings I'm gonna wear. So these, the earrings I have in my ears, I'm not gonna wear. I'm actually gonna wear the rose ones that I picked out from um, the Julia company that sent me um, the jewelry. I will have them linked down below because I do have a discount code with them as well. But I was contemplating not wearing these because I didn't know if I liked how like straight they were, but I think they look nice with the fact that my dress is so like, it has all these swirls on it and it has um it's just amazing <laughs> it's just the best dress ever but it has all the swirls on it and then also with my hair being curly i actually like these earrings this way i am wearing the bra mrs kisses bra that i talked to you guys about i mean it speaks for itself <laughs> honestly like it looks amazing what I ended up going for or going with for my back of my dress hopefully you guys can hear me because my fan be wilding right now it is really loud in the background but I can't be walking all the way over there right now because I am wearing my sneakers under my dress as well um you guys aren't gonna be able to see that but I'll show you guys I'll take a video afterwards but I'm wearing my sneakers under my dress because that's how I'm gonna wear it on my wedding day I feel so dolled up right now <laughs> because I have the Mrs. Kisses bra on, I have Spanx on, I have, oh, I figured out what I'm going to do for my back. So this is one of the lingerie pieces I ordered and I just like it because it's like sheer and you can still see, like I'm okay with still seeing the rolls. I actually like that because um, that's who I am and so I'm good with that but I really like the sheer over top because like this actually you know what I haven't tried it yet since I started tanning um but so maybe my back won't be as bad without the sheer but I kind of like the sheer over so we're gonna see what I end up going with on the day but this is what I am right now I'm so happy and excited this is as you guys can see like what I've been telling you guys a little bit loose right here which is kind of a bummer but it's not a big deal because it's just Dominic and I so it's not like we're gonna be showing off for anybody else but anyway I gotta go because I'm gonna have Chinese for lunch today because <laughs> I deserve it I'm gonna have Chinese for lunch because this let me just tell you it's been I've been working on this since 7 a.m. and it's 1 30 p.m. I've been doing my makeup and doing my hair and putting my outfit on so if that doesn't tell you how long today has been for me when it comes to getting ready actually that's a good that's a good estimate for how long it's gonna take me to get ready day of as well which is concerning because I don't really want to take forever but I also want to look like this so I'm gonna probably have to because this hair was not easy to accomplish and I'm not gonna lie it's not my favorite actually we'll see what I end up doing in the hair I might just curl my hair um it was supposed I really wanted to do Hollywood glam and I tried to like copy someone else's or not copy like I watched a tutorial online to do it and I like it. It's just not what hers look like because hers is a lot, okay, a little bit back there. You can kind of see like the wave for the Hollywood glam. But my front is not doing the Hollywood glam that I would like it to. We'll see what I end up doing, you guys. But I'm pretty sure I am going to pin like this side back because I think that looks pretty. All right, I got to go because I got to order Chinese before 2 p.m. or else I will not get it on sale. So I will talk to you guys later. <laughs> so this is what we're working with for my feet, actually. You might be able to see it better. If I I'm just stand casually standing next to my cat litter in my wedding dress, you guys. But um, this is what the shoe situation is. Oh, and then I also have this like thingy that poofs my um dress out a little bit that I bought off Amazon. I will link that down below too. But yeah, I'm just wearing sneakers because why spend a whole bunch of money on shoes when 
I am not going to see them. Like, nobody's going to see my shoes because of how big my dress is. So I'm going to wear my sneakers, especially because we're going to be wandering around Rome. And we're still going to have so many days in Rome afterwards. So I, you know, I don't want to wear out my feet by wearing, like, really fancy shoes walking around Rome when I could just wear my sneakers and it'll be, like, a regular day in the life. And it, I don't feel any less, like, dressed up without um, dressy shoes. All right, guys. I'll talk to you guys later. <laughs> You guys, everything that can go wrong has been going wrong. <laughs> Literally, I just got back from my Chinese. Hopefully, I don't have any on my face. And I watched the video that I took, and I had a stain on my dress <laughs> from my freaking makeup. And this is why I don't wear makeup. I actually had multiple stains. There was a huge stain on the back of my dress. Uh, not my dress, but the lingerie piece. And I was like, okay, this is good. At least it's on the lingerie piece. It's not really that big of a deal. But um, I have to fix that, obviously. So I'm gonna, I had to order another lingerie piece. Thank God I have a couple more days till we have to leave because I'll get that other piece in on time. It was like massive. I'm sure you guys saw it in the clip. If you didn't, I'll insert a video of it because I took a second video like in vertical and I noticed it right away. I was like, what the hell is on the back of my dress right now? Oh my gosh, you guys. So anyway, I just spent the last literally hour and a half trying to get the stain out let me show you guys really quick i did a good job getting the stain out i actually got i had three stains on or i had two stains on the dress and then i had the stain on the back of the thing let me just show you so you can see it already literally it's so bad it's not that bad okay i don't feel that bad okay it's it's not a great thing <laughs> it could be better this was my last time trying on my dress too so that's what i'm so frustrated by but i got a stain right here with the makeup because your girl doesn't know anything about makeup i put the makeup on the back of my hand when i was putting it like applying it so that it wouldn't apply so dark on my face and then i forgot to wash my hands before trying my dress on so that happened and then I also had a little bit up top too but I that came out so easy like I don't even remember where it was now um it came out like super fast this one definitely was a little bit harder to get out and as you can see it's still it's still stained but it's really not that bad it could be worse I'm just going to put this away and never touch it again <laughs> until we get married because my gosh you guys this is horrible. I was very, very upset about this whole situation. So I'm going to examine the back of my dress because I didn't notice any on the back. So that's a plus, but what a bummer. And then I also kind of noticed um, that I have a stain on the train of my dress, which is not for me. It like kind of actually looks disgusting. Uh, I'm not even going to show you guys it because it looks so gross, but I know it's not for me because I haven't taken my dress anywhere that I would have gotten this kind of stain. It's like an oily. Oh, sorry, guys. I'm not even showing myself. It's like this weird oily stain. It's actually gross. So that's kind of a bummer, but it is what it is. I'm just hoping that it won't like the photographers won't notice and then I also noticed that I have on the inside there's like this Zazi tab that I think I can use it's like one of these and I think I can use it to hook to the back of my dress so when I walk I can hook it to the back of my dress and walk better <sighs> Okay, you guys, look at what Dominic's job got him for um, our wedding. Not his job, a couple of people that are on his team got him this cute little Pikachu. I think it's the cutest thing I've ever seen. It is a like wedding Pikachu, so there's a bride and a groom. And then it looks like there's some sort of like koozie or something behind it. Is that a mug? I never asked to be the world's best boss, but here I am absolutely crushing it. That's so cute, oh my gosh. <laughs> So they gave him this, he, they gave him a little Panera card because he always shows up with Panera because, you know, we got that Panera deal. Um, and then a little basket. And then this is really, really cool. Let's see if I can get it to focus. It is a Alice in Wonderland rose that one of the people on his team had um, for her wedding. I, guess, I think they made them, it looks like it. Or they bought them, I'm not quite sure. But it is literally from the book. Like this rose is made out of an, like a page from the book. Isn't that the coolest thing ever? 
I just thought it was so neat and that is just so sweet. <laughs> like literally they didn't have to do anything. <laughs> it's very, very cute. On the topic of things that people got us for our wedding, Lindy sent me something really special and I don't know what it is. I'm going to open it on camera because I'm really excited about it. And it, the thing she said here, I don't want to give her address away either. There's no way to put it. She said, basically just said to her future Mrs. Graham is what she put for who it's to, which I thought was so cute. <laughs> So let's open this up. It might not be for our wedding, but I'm imagining that it is based off of the fact that she put future Mrs. Graham. So let's see. Happy wishes for the bride to be. So this is the card she got me. How beautiful is that? That is so sweet. She literally picked this card up for me. That's so cute. She got me uh, these little croc things. They're Duncan croc, uh, little like the things that you can put inside of your croc. So freaking cool. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited about those. And she says, let's see, Jazzy, your big day is coming. Wait, what is this? Lindy, what are you doing? <laughs> Oh my gosh, she said, Jazzy, your big day is coming so quick. I cannot wait to see the beautiful bride you will be. I'm so grateful to have you as my long distance bestie. Be sure to soak in all the beauty of Italy and eat all the pasta for me. Love you so much. I love you too. And she gave me a $25 Amazon gift card, which could not have come at a better time. I could cry right now, honestly, because you guys know I just found that stain on my um thing so on the thing the lingerie piece that i ordered from amazon so i had to reorder it that was very very thoughtful thank you so much lindy <laughs> that was so sweet come here sunday hello you guys so i have some things to talk about so first of all it is after the wedding now <laughs> and i thought i was going to be able to talk about these things on our wedding day so i was like we don't need to film an unboxing however in hindsight i wish i would have filmed us opening these perfumes because you guys should have been there <laughs> like it was such a funny experience opening these boxes up because Dominic and I are obsessed with these perfumes. So I've gotten perfume from Dossier before, or Dossier, I don't know how to pronounce it, but they've sent me perfume in the past and I loved that, that perfume, but I am not gonna lie, these, the ones that we got this time are literally to die for, like so gorgeous. I actually, they actually reached out to me right before we were going on our trip and I was like, yeah, you know, like, is there any way you can send me one for me and one for my husband, or my future husband? Um, he's my husband now, <laughs> but is there any way you can send me one for me and one for my future husband and she was like yeah actually I'll send you guys each two because I was like it would be really cool to wear like a different type of cologne and perfume on our wedding day one we've never worn before I was like how awesome would that be to have that scent like associated with our wedding day and when I tell you these didn't disappoint like they were so amazing the only thing is is that last time I ordered from them they sent a little like trial thing as well so that's kind of what I was hoping that it would come with this time um because I was really hoping that we could bring the trial with us but it really wasn't a huge deal because I ordered these little uh like perfume things that you can transfer your bottles into if you guys are traveling because I really didn't want to be bringing a big bottle with us so I ordered these to transfer our colognes into and we actually ended up bringing four of these because we loved all of like literally we loved every single scent that they sent us and they smelled so good together <laughs> like I really wish that we would have been filming when we were uh when I unboxed these because literally we were like holding our hands Dominic was holding his hands up to his face and then I was holding mine over his and we were like sniffing them together and it was like oh it was literally the best like scent combination I've ever smelled in my life. So I want to tell you guys what scents they are. Um, This one is powdery tobacco. I don't remember which one is whose though. Let me check my phone really quick to see which one was who. I, I could probably tell by the scent actually. Let's see. I think powdery tobacco is Dominic's. I can already tell it smells so good. Yeah. Oh my god you guys. It literally smells phenomenal. So powdery tobacco. Let me see if I can hold that up for you guys to see it. Was literally like the most manliest scent you can smell. It smells like tobacco obviously but it just smells like a really amazing cigar and I'm not really a big cigar fan but this scent 
it is to die for. So here's what the ones that were mine. One of them that I got was Ambery Vetiver. I'm definitely pronouncing that wrong. But this scent, you guys, smells so good. It's more of like a floral scent for some reason. Yeah, orange blossom, marigold, violet. Okay, that makes sense. It's definitely more of a floral scent. And I don't, I do not like sweet scents. But this has like a like some sort of thing underneath the flowers <laughs> that smell it's probably the cedar wood actually now that it says base notes cedar wood um that just unreal you guys literally you will not be unhappy with this ambery vetiver however the one that i loved the most out of the two was the ambery cherry and i don't like cherry either but this one gave off a very uh like woodsy vibe and I mean we definitely weren't in the woods for our wedding but it smells so good and then when you pair this one with Dominic's ambery tobacco or powdery tobacco these two together there was just something about the scents together that it's literally is the most phenomenal thing ever. I wish you guys could smell these. They smell so good together. Um, so that was one way that we tried to keep our elopement kind of special was doing like a signature scent for the day. And I'm gonna tell you, we're gonna be wearing these scents the rest of our lives. Like we never wanna try another scent because these were so good. And then the last one that Dominic got was another ambery one, I think. We, we really went hard with the ambery, but this one is ambery sage. And this one we loved it too, like I said, we ended up bringing four of those little containers so that we could use both on our trip because they were just, they all smelled so good. Let me smell this one again. Yeah, so this one is amazing. <laughs> so this was the first one that we smell at like out of all four and we were obsessed with it. But then after smelling the other ones, we liked the other ones way more. Like now smelling this one, it doesn't seem as good as the others, <laughs> but I know that it's still like a really great scent. Let's see if I can get it to focus for you guys. It's called Ambery Sage. So you literally cannot go wrong. It's definitely not focusing you guys. It is what it is, but you can't go wrong with any of these. <laughs> They're all so, so good. But, and then I'll also link down below the little containers that we brought with us, because like I said, like there was no way we were going to be able to travel with this big of a like container although we probably could have now that i think of it it's probably let's see 36 1.7 fluid ounce i guess you can travel with this size as well um we just didn't really have room in our carry-ons because we did we were successful in only bringing a carry-on one carry-on and one personal item each you guys i can't wait to tell you all about the trip <laughs> but that is not what this video is about this was supposed to be filmed prior to us eloping but now you guys know it is over and we are married <laughs> <laughs> but anyway you guys I love you so much hopefully you like this video I don't even know when this video is going to be going up it'll probably end up going up sometime during vlogmas now that I think of it so hopefully you guys are okay with counting it as a vlogmas video but I can't recommend these scents enough so I will leave them down below I will leave the Mrs. Kisses bra down below oh my gosh you guys I actually think I went over way too like so many things in this video now that I think of it but I will leave everything linked down below for you guys and I will see you guys tomorrow